Hi guys and welcome to episode 4 of the Road to Glory Wager Showdowns BPL. As you can see we have Jerome, Bonglahor, Zaha, Kalas, Pantilamon, Okora and Wan Yama in the team. Absolute awesome run as well. We have played 9 games, 8 wins, 1 loss and we have 121,000 coins in the bank as well. Beast, this has been an absolute awesome start to the uh, Road to Glory Wage Showdowns this series, and it's probably one of the best starts I've had since they actually started the series back in FIFA 12. So, the team, well, the wager we're going to be going for first is for a 5k wager valued uh, for Lamar. Uh, he is the Belgian left mid from Swansea, and last year he was actually a really cheap, sweaty uh, goal player, but he's been downgraded this year, uh, so it'd be nice to get him in the team and get rid of the Everton one we have in currently. Also, guys, if any of you lot are after any ultimate team coins, make sure you check out FIFACoinsStash.com. Their links are down below for a fast and reliable coin service. So, 1-1. One, one. Brilliant goal there. And if you didn't realise what that guy did on his first goal, he actually dished out the uh, shush. He uh, shushed me. So, you know what I do when people shush me. I go ham. And when I take a 2-1 lead against you, I shush him again. Because if you're going to shush me, make sure you smash me. Or not give me the opportunity to get back in the, t in the game. Because I know everyone who's in my position, when they get shushed, will start doing the shush back. Especially if you go on to extend the lead to... Uh, to 3-1, even though it's quite a scrappy way of scoring, we do extend the lead to 3-1 there, and uh, it's game over, he was not coming back, well, that's what I thought, but a nice over-the-top through ball, and a nice shot as well into the far corner, does beat Pantillamon, making it 3-2 on the 69th minute and he could have brought it back a few more times as well but in the 90th minute a nice bit of 1-2 passing and over the top through ball we do extend the lead to 4-2 with another tram goal and that was game sealed so another 5k wager won there Lamar put in into the team so what we're going to do now guys is we're going to bolster the defence ready for the uh, gold upgrades which will be coming along very very soon so the next wager match we're going to be going for is for Corker, the uh, Cardiff City centre-back who was Tottenham last year and he was a non-rare last year as well. So it's nice to have him as a rare player because it holds his value very well. There's also an informed version of him out as well. So if we do manage to get this guy, we will be moving on to an informed version of him later on in a couple of episodes' time. Uh, there is actually a few informs in this series which I'm looking forward to get, especially the Silvers anyway. Uh, as for the goal players, there's a lot of informs for them as well. So it's looking towards the future also guys we're gonna hit 1500 likes for this episode it'd be fucking insane and uh, also if you do hit it i will have another episode out for you tomorrow evening maybe featuring some informs depending on how the next two games go so one nil lead awesome extended to two nil with a nice uh, deflected header into the back post and we do uh, slot it in there what well, definitely was not gonna miss so Let's have a talk about the players in the team so far which have stood out for me the most. Gabby Abonglaha, even though his value is quite low, silver players are not valued that much. Uh, he is absolutely insane. If you go and watch the previous episodes and count how many goals and assists he's got in this series, it's uh, pretty pretty insane how how good he is, even against some very difficult opponents. Him being so fast and having a decent shot and being decent at finishing has uh, saved me a few times for sure. There's also been Akora. He's been the centre-back for a couple of episodes now, and he's been absolutely ripping shit up in the centre-back. Uh, he has very good spe uh, speed and also defending attributes as well uh, Zaha, still getting used to Zaha but if any of you guys have used any of these players let me know which ones you preferred out of them because I've been asking on Twitter um, well as you, as you see there, on the 84th minute he does ex uh, bring it back to 3-3 but an instant reply from me because I cannot be done with losing another tramp goal and it's made 4-3 to make that another win uh, played the offside, trap failed, and uh, we just slot it in there. So I do ask for my wages on Twitter, guys, which is at Bateson87. Make sure you are following that, because I do tweet that out a few times a week, and uh, I do have a session of doing wager matches for the forthcoming week. All these games were played on Saturday evening, and you're just going live now. So I do like to uh, pre-make my videos in advance, especially for this series, especially. Um, 
So, as you can see there, now Cork is in the team. There's only two upgrades left to get a full rare silver BPL team, and that is Barkley and Luke Shaw. But Barkley, I'm still unsure who I want at the cam position, and maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section below who I should go for at cam uh, as a rare silver BPL player. So we're going to go for Butner and hopefully get rid of Luke Shaw, even though Luke Shaw's not bad. For the player he is on the game and on Twitter and stuff, his charity work's insane, uh, he does have a very low rated card but it is very solid good on the attack as well with his assisting and uh, dribbling so a nice one nil uh well, 1 0 lead got, and he does have the team name KSI. So this left me a bit dubious as to whether he was a, a KSI army, not very good player, or someone who was going to spam over the top three balls. So from the resulting kickoff from that goal, watch this. He just pings it on through straight to Jerome, who uh, who does lob it over the keeper and make it 2 1. So yes, he does watch KSI's video, as do most of the community, but a nice brilliant header there from Akara into the far corner and the lead is extended to 3-1 and that is how the game stood another another episode another three wins and we did uh, deserve that lead lead that's for sure especially with the stats and the way we played so it's said to bye bye to Luke Shaw we may see him again depending if we lose the upgrade for uh, a rare um, a non-rare gold later on but Butner's in the team and that's how the team stands guys try and get it to 1500 likes subscribe for more awesome FIFA 14 next Next gen content. Comment in the section below about what I've been asking, like players in general, what ones you've used, and who we want at that cam position. So thanks very much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed it, and have a nice rest of your day.